Welcome to Moody Blooms. If you have a plant addiction like I do, come shop the 99 cent store with me and save a little cash. We're shopping for succulent soil, pots, and potting supplies. Starting with our succulents, the smaller ones are only 99 cents. They have these cute little hens and chicks. Decent selection to choose from. These are the uh, elephant bush. I have an entire episode completely about propagating this guy, so check that in the description below. Now, some definitely look better than others, but still lots to choose from. Now this is one of my favorites. I love this little guy. It's called a uh, Topsy Turvy. Oh, this looks so sad. This is supposed to be a Pearl von Nuremberg, but someone beheaded it. These don't look too hot over here in the back, so definitely have to look through them to find a good one. The larger succulents are $1.99, and they have these uh, green pinwheel aeoniums. Another one of my favorites is the Raindrop Echeveria. It gets its name from the droplet-like bumps it develops as it matures. Here's some more of the smaller 99 cent succulents. Also have these petunias. Here's some lucky bamboo. They also have some ornamental grass. Now I love this Crassula tetragona. It's also known as mini uh, pine trees or also known as the Chinese pine. And I, I love how they add a uh, beautiful texture to the arrangements. So I ended up with these, the raindrop, the hens and chicks, the topsy-turvy and also the blackjack plant. Now the edges of this looked a little sad, but I'm gonna take it home and resurrect it, hopefully get some baby pups. Pretty happy with my selection. So this is another bargain. These pumpkins they have here for $1.99 and they're 50% off right now because we're getting close to Halloween. But uh, I normally get mine at Trader Joe's and they're beautiful at Trader Joe's. These aren't quite as pretty, but they definitely will do. I love making succulent top pumpkins with these. They're so easy to make. I have a tutorial on that as well. I'll put the link down below for you but uh, not bad for a buck. Now I love these trays. They come in a, a couple different colors and uh, sometimes they have square, sometimes they're circular, but these are great for watering. It's one of my favorite ways to water from the, the base up. They're also great for uh, potting smaller pots and also mixing soil. They also carry this organic harvest potting soil. Now this same bag is currently for sale on Amazon for $10.99. So that's a deal for 99 cents. They also carry a 30 pack of the Job's Fertilizer Plant Spikes for houseplants. These are also currently on Amazon for $4.49, so pretty good deal. They carry a 164 feet of twisty ties with a wire cutter attached. And these are great for training your fiddly fig. And I have a video linked down below for how to train your fiddly fig if you're interested in that. They're also great for tying back your uh, tomatoes and vines now a lot of these items come and go because it is a discount store but for some reason every time I've ever come they always have a, a pretty good selection of the terracotta pots. Pretty decent size for 99 cents. They also carry the Job's fertilizer spikes for flowering plants and these are currently on Amazon as well for $3.97. Now these clear plant saucers are great. The six inch comes in a four pack, there's an eight inch in a three pack and the 10 inch over here is comes in a two pack. I've also seen them have a terracotta color in these plant saucers. They also have uh, a few smaller pots and these are super cute. No drainage holes in these so you would need to keep it in the nursery pot or you can always put some really good draining soil or rocks at the bottom. They always carry a pretty good selection during spring so be sure to subscribe down below because I'll make an update video in spring 
to show you what they have. Now, I thought these were hilarious. They're called Garden Genie Gloves. These currently are selling on Amazon for $8.88, and they come with these four built-in claws so you can dig and plant without using tools. Some solar light stakes. Now, this Dr. Earth Pure and Natural Pest Control Spray is $1.99 here, currently for sale on Amazon for $16.31. And uh, for some reason this year, the spiders were out of control and they were leaving webs everywhere. And I feel like I was walking in them every single day. So I did actually get some of this and it, it worked really well. It cut down the, at least it cut down on the webs. And I was reading some of the reviews. One of the reviewers said that they add their own peppermint oil and extra cinnamon oil. And it works wonderful at controlling spiders as well as fruit flies and gnats. Today they had these Red's Apple Ale buckets for 99 cents. They also carry these 15 liter galvanized steel buckets for $2.99. You could easily drill some holes in these if you wanted to pot something in them, but pretty good price, I thought. They also carry the 24 ounce Dr. Earth's Weed and Grass herbicide for $1.99, currently on Amazon for $9.99. Eight quarts of uh, cocoa mix. Now heading over to the glassware. I love using milk bottles for water propagation. I propagate in all different sizes and shapes of glass bottles. I just think those milk bottles are so cute. But they have lots of different glassware to choose from, different colored bases. And here's some more of the plants that have propagating in water. And these milk jars are cute. You could just easily take off the lid and the straw great for propagation. They also have plenty of these clear flower vases. Lots to choose from. Next is the uh, three-piece pipe brush cleaning kit. And I use these for a couple different things. It comes with this brush and it's a little bit, the bristles are a little bit more firm than a normal uh, mini paintbrush or an eyeshadow brush. I use sometimes on my very fragile plants, but um, it works really well to get out that extra potting soil or any dust on these smaller plants. I use the pipe brush cleaners to clean my propagation bottles, so let me go grab a couple of those so I can show you what I mean. So here's a little antique milk jug. So these smaller ones, I bought a, a bunch of these on Amazon and I'll put the link down below, but sometimes I'll get some algae in the bottom and it's, it's really difficult to get in there, so these little brushes fit perfectly in there. And there's two different sizes, so the large one we'll clean this milk bottle with. But as you can see, I have lots of different sizes of glass bottles for propagation, and it's nice to be able to keep them clean. A lot of times I just use a baby bottle cleaner, and that works great for my larger bottles, but I have lots of smaller bottles. Now notice the ends of these don't have any bristles. So what I did is I just grabbed some needle nose pliers and just made a little loop at the end. And that way there were some bristles at the bottom so it could really clean those miniature bottles. These S-hooks come in handy for lots of different uses. These self-stick bumpers are perfect for the bottoms of pots so they don't scratch surfaces. Sometimes they already come on there like seen here. Now this four-piece tweezer set is great. It comes in super handy for removing dead leaves without disrupting the plant. Nice selection of uh, latex coated work gloves. We need some gardening gloves. I use these river rocks and gems for soil toppers and I think they're great at adding a finished look. They're also great for covering soil in clear glass displays. They also have some light gray and white bags. I love adding the white to my pots because I feel like it gives a really good contrast. I highly recommend a soil topper. I just think it looks really put together. Another thing that I love to use as a soil topper is seashells. I love the beach and anytime I can incorporate the beach into my plants, it makes me so happy. Two of my favorite things. Sometimes they also have colored sand as well, not today, but I've picked that up here before as well. V 
These tarps are great for repotting. They have a four by six foot tarp. Great for a quick cleanup, especially if you're repotting larger pots. They also have a larger tarp. It's an eight by 10 foot. It's a little bit more heavy duty. That one's $5.99. These larger paintbrushes are great for removing dust and leftover potting soil from larger plants. Always good to have some of those handy. Also, they have a three-piece set for 99 cents and also a two-piece pastry brush set that would also work. Now, this cute tray would be great to use for display or also transporting your potting supplies like I have done here, and these are $3.99. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and Thanks so much for joining Moody Blooms as we visited the 99 cents only store. I bought some great items at a great bargain. We hope to see you again.